everybody. Welcome back to JT O'Malley 9681's LPs. I'm your host, JT O'Malley 9681. And I had to think about it a little bit, and I decided right now I'm going to do another Atari 2600 game. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Created by Howard Scott Warshaw. There is an Easter egg in this game. I will not actually do it myself, but I will give credit to somebody else. Because I'll be using their content. And there is an area in this game that I will not be going to for the simple fact that I will be using safe states in this game because there's one particular part in the game that I am very poor at. So... Let's get started. Alright, that's snakes. Bag of gold down there. That was the whip. And you have to use two joysticks. Why? What the? Okay, there we go. I was wondering why that wasn't working. Alright. You gotta be careful of that snake. Wherever that snake is on this screen, it'll be in the same exact spot when you go to the next screen. So you've got to watch out for that. With the gun, you only get to shoot like three bullets. It sucks. There's a grenade. You cannot be on the same screen when the grenade disappears. Now, I could use the flute to help keep snakes away, but I don't really need to do that. In order to use the whip, you cannot just press the button that won't work. You've got to be facing in the direction that you're trying, trying to. Come on. I can never get in that door right. Ah. Now this thing here is the timepiece. You could also call it a clock. I mean, it looks like a sundial, so that should pretty much tell you. In this room, you have the spider, the giant spider. That's what that thing's supposed to be. And the tistus flies, or however you pronounce it. And the gun, you can only shoot, I think, like three bullets at a time. It's just pretty stupid if you ask me so the gun is practically useless to me and this is the room of the shining light or something that's supposed to be pieces of gold and you get a coin uh, bag and that is called a chai I think All right, you got to use the second controller to move that dot upon certain things that you have in your inventory, and you have to use the button on the second uh, joystick in order to drop the item. And so I'm going to have to drop the gun. Ooh. Drop the bag of gold, and we got an unk. Alright. I'll be safe in here. Now, the unk will actually transport you to the mesa, or whatever... What is that place called? Yeah, there was a spider room, the temple entrance where we were at, the marketplace... Mesa Field, that's what it's called. Uh, from the marketplace, if you 
go down gently in, cer in a certain spot or something like that, you can actually get to the Mesa field that way. And that's how you can use the uh, hourglass that turns into a grappling hook. Ah! But the thing is, the hourglass will not transport you back to the Mesa field if you um if you end up falling I don't know what that rock is there for. It doesn't make any sense. Now, you're going to have to come back to this room at some point, so I'm going to have to save state here. There's the Valley of Poison, but I'm going to load the state. There's a way you're supposed to... Here we go, to certain spots like that right here. Here's the Mesa field. See, you could just transport here by the Ankh. Like that. Now you hold up or down depending on how far or how close you want the grappling hook to be. This part's not easy for me either, so. Uh, there we go, see? Now you have to drop the onk. Uh -oh. I just realized I'm I'm missing something. All right, I'm just gonna do that so I can get back up here. Now I'm going to have to go back and grab the Ankh once again, because there's something in here that I forgot to get. Drop that gun. I don't need that. There it is. That is the medallion. Okay. Let's try this again. Now, there are some objects like the gun and the whip. If you accidentally drop those, you will never get them back. And you just got to keep going over these. There it is. I find that if I don't use the whip there as I'm going through there, I won't, it just won't let me. I don't understand why. All 
All right. Drop that. No, I don't need that. Yeah, there is an item that you can end up picking up, which is, it's called a chai. Aw, oh, boo. And the chai is how you get to the, um, to see the Easter egg. Yeah, there we go. That's a good thing about the Ankh is that, like I've said, you can use it to retransport you back in the Mesa field if you fall. Now you need the key, so you need to come down the middle here, stay in this bar until right there. Now you need to stand in the middle, move it over. And you have to wait. This is the room that will tell you where the Ark is. Because there are several places that look exactly the same. I believe that's what it is. And if you end up digging in the wrong spot, that's not the Ark. You'll fall into the Valley of Poison. Yeah, this is that map room. And this thing... It's supposed to be a medallion. It's actually supposed to be the bird that's on the medallion from the movie. And so when the sun comes in through a certain like hole or something like that in the place, and it, and it shines off the medallion, then it will light up where the Ark is supposed to be, the Ark of the Covenant. And so we just have to wait here until the sun rises. Well, the sun doesn't rise, but it gets into the area. Because it's supposed to be like 12 noon. That's what the timepiece or clock is for. But we don't need that. We don't necessarily need that. There it is. It's on that. Uh, see, it could be any of these islands. Well, they're not islands or, or Mesa or whatever. So that's where we have to go. It's right there. All right. So we need to put it back on the key or otherwise we'll fall. A room full of thieves. They will steal your stuff, so you've got to be careful there. Alright. And this guy, it costs two bags of gold for this. Alright. Because we need the shovel. And see, there we can get bullets for our gun, but I don't know. It, it's not going to do anything. And this guy on the left is the raving lunatic. He, he, I think the flute will charm him, but I'm not sure. And I don't think there's anything over there anyway. So I'm going to save state because I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. There we go. Okay, we need the parachute. Alright, so we need a bag of gold to, to buy the parachute.
And we also need to get the onk again. I believe it's right on here. Ah, oh, you fart. I think. I think it's there. Okay, let's try this again. Rid of the unk. This part I've always had trouble with. No. Hey. Here's some more thieves. Yeah, I'm just pressing the button a bunch of times and running back and forth. And there's the Ark of the Covenant. I don't know if you can get any higher than this. If you can, I don't know how to figure figure out how to do that. But that's how you beat Raiders of the Lost Ark for the Atari 2600. And with the Valley of Poison, there's Thief here. The manual says it's just a thief, so there's no telling who that's really supposed to be. He'll steal all your stuff, he'll even steal your gun, and he'll even start shooting at you, and stuff like that. The Tistus flies are there. Yeah. And then for the Easter egg, is you get the chai. And then when you drop down one of these areas here from the mesa, and you drop the chai as you're falling, that's what happens, and then at the end, you get Howard Warshaw's initials. And that's the Easter egg. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this one for Raiders of the Lost Ark for the Atari 2600. Stay tuned. I'm still thinking of what I want to do next. Either it's going to be Mega Man 3 or Dragon Quest 3. I really don't know which one I really want to do. But we'll see in the future. So... So stay tuned. I don't know when it's going to come out, the next Let's Play, but it's coming very soon. Follow me on social media. I'll have links in the video description. And until next time, this is JTL Mally 9681 signing off. I'll see you on the next Let's Play.